Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear NASA. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. I hope I hit record. Poppy, did you hit record? <laughs>
Mm-mm-mm. And I got a keto cake that I be eating later on that um she made me for my birthday. And that is out of sight. I'ma hide it from y'all. I'ma let you taste some now when it's cold and it's been set. Oh, you been eating it. Cause I'm like, somebody been in my cake. That's where my cake been. So I've been having it cause I'm like, I don't want them in my cake. <laughs> but when I went there last night, I'm like, it look awfully short. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. Man. Mm-hmm. 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 So yesterday, Sunday was my cousin Bobby's birthday. He turned, um, I think 49. So his birthday was a seven. Mine was a fifth. Monday was my cousin Santana. Um, he passed away. And um, his birthday was Monday, so yesterday, in honor, of, in honor of him and Bobby, we did a seafood boil. So I'll put a picture here of his plate. Mm. They brought the food. And I just helped cook. And it turned out amazing. I didn't go to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning. I had to be to work this morning, Tuesday morning. But I got up. We had a good time playing cards. And my cousin DJ, his birthday is on the 13th. He lives in Atlanta. I don't know if y'all remember, me and him went to uh, California together. And Bobby went. But he'll be here Friday. So we'll probably be <laughs> turning up again. So yeah. I really uh, appreciate everybody's birthday wishes. Um, I had a very blessed birthday and still having a blessed birthday. And I'll tell you, our God is so good. And he has been so good to me and i just thank him i'm blessed very blessed so yeah i got my little notes over him because i'm all for good now i do not want for good now make sure i had thanked everybody so y'all let me know how y'all doing out there Make sure y'all go check my girl. I'll be checking out and get her, get some shirts from her. I actually ordered another one. It should be coming for June, Juneteenth. So I'll be wearing that one. So I'm uh, very to help, very happy to support her. She also made my YouTube shirt, so, yeah. Support black businesses, y'all. Yes. Do that. And I know I told y'all I was going to start doing my Magic Mondays with Mary Kay. <laughs> so, it'll probably be more Mary Kay products of the of the day or whatever because i don't know if monday gonna work <laughs> but y'all know i don't have no schedule i just come because i come as i am <laughs> come as i am y'all look at that i don't know what all she got in here but it's scrumptious okay mm, mm, mm. 
I would be in my apartment up there making box macaroni. And I don't think she ever made box macaroni. She make it from scratch real quick. I'll be making canned green beans and she'll be making crowded peas. <laughs> so yeah. Tamika puts it down. <laughs> I ain't got nothing on her for telling you. Bye. She came over here for my party for a minute. On my um tuna fish. Everybody said it was bomb. It was like it was right, but it just wasn't right for me. And I usually put sugar in it. And I end up not putting nothing in because I'm like, I don't know if the keto sugar is gonna change it. She like, throw something in there. When I tell you excellent. Mm-hmm. I'm down on my shirt. <clears throat> so yeah. This food is amazing. Ooh, well. So yeah, y'all, I wanna have a little short story time about when my first time dealing with racism up close, close and personal. I may have had things that happened indirectly, but never as as direct as this happened. And our country, our world is in a sad place right now. I find myself angry and upset sometimes when I think about George Floyd and what he went through. I did not want to look at that video. And I found myself doing it really quick. But I zoomed in on his face. And the look in his eyes, I will never forget it. Never forget it. I've learned about slavery and racism all my life. It was, it's been around me. My mother talked to me about it. I've watched movies about it. I know what it is. I've been to plantations in South Carolina, so I know. But until it directly hits you like that, the story that I'm going to tell you guys, the anger I felt, I can just see that in his eyes at the same time and not being able to do anything. Racism to me would never go anywhere. It will always be here because we always going to have ignorant people in this world. We can't control that. But we can stand up for our rights. And even though we have ignorant people, the brutality that's going on, mm -mm. that could be my kids out here. It could be me. So yeah, but on a quick, I won't make it a long story time, but um, the job that I'm still working there, I was working for a doctor, which I still work for him. But I, at this time I was directly working in his office, <clears throat> pretty much running him in three, two other OBGYN doctors in a urology clinic. So, he was very fast-paced and busy. And me and this doctor, I don't even want to say his name because I still work there and I don't want, you know. But we developed a very close, you know, relationship, you know, as uh, co-workers. 
some doctors get bad names, but um, these doctors, when I tell you, phenomenal. Matter of fact, the doctor will be delivering my daughter, my daughter's baby, my grandbaby. And he told my daughter when she went to see him, I should have known when she had her first grandbaby <laughs> that they would come here. Yes. But anywho, I was working in his office and it was late. The clinic was really busy, so I had to stay over a lot of times and try to handle some things before the next day. Um, everybody had left pretty much. It was one other uh, medical, it was a medical assistant there with me for him. So me and her, but we were in different offices. And I called a patient. I can't really remember, because this was about five or six years ago. But I called a patient just to follow up on probably something about her records or, you know, an appointment. Who knows what it was? But during this conversation, I don't care what I said to this woman. She wasn't happy with anything. Like she, she, it just was no pleasing her. I do remember that. But of course I kept it professional. And, um, you know, tried to satisfy her as best I could. And I don't know how we end up getting ready to hang up off the phone. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Uh, but before, as we got to hang up, I got a headset on, so of course, me reaching to um, close the call, she could hang up quicker. So it took me a minute to hang up. And she was so mad, she was getting off the phone and she said black. And I don't want to say everything. I'm going to try to say it the best I can. So, I, you know, I'm going to have an issue with you two. But black, N-I-G-G-A, B-I-T-C-H is what she called me. And when I tell y'all, <laughs> everything in me just turned with red. I was in such shock. Like, I, I just, at first I sat there for a second, like, did I really just hear what I thought I heard? And at that moment, I thought to call her back and confirm that's what she said. But when I tell y'all, God is good because he stopped me from doing that. <laughs> and I'm so glad I didn't because I was so frazzled in that situation and caught off guard. When I called her back and if she had a egg it on, there's no telling what I would have said. And, and the whole time I've been at my job, I've never been wrote up any of that. So, you know, I take my job very seriously. So at that moment, who knows what I would have said. And you know, it just could have been all bad. So I didn't call her. And I think I went and told the MA and told her what happened. And I can't remember. Like I said, it's been a minute since this happened. But I do know I called my manager. I called him immediately. And he's black. Mind you, the doctor that I work for, he is white, which this doesn't matter in the situation, but you know, just so y'all have a clear picture of it. But 
no shade to my manager at that point because he's a very nice guy one of the best managers i've ever had you know um but he had a lot on him you know and you know he's always been supportive and everything so there's no shade to who he is but the situation just wasn't handled properly when i called him he kind of like threw it off He threw it off. And it kind of made me feel like he felt like nothing to be done, so just let it go. That's how he kind of was talking to me. And I'm telling him, like, do you hear yourself? <laughs> and do you hear this situation? So he said he would talk to such and such. And, and I can't remember... If you called somebody at that point or what and called me back. But at that point, I said, mm-mm. I went into my email because I could not leave my job at that point and let that situation just go. I, I was too heated. There was no way I could go home and just have that over my head. So I emailed the doctor whose patient it was, which is the doctor that I said, you know, that I love. <laughs> but um, I emailed him. I cc my supervisor, my manager. I copied HR and a couple other people. Oh, the president of my department. Because we have presidents of the hospital and presidents of each department. So I went to the president and emailed them all and told them the whole situation. And I told them, and the fit, well, at that point, I've been there 19 years, but it had been like maybe 15, 16 years at that point. I, maybe 15 or 14. Anyway, I said in the 15 years that I've worked here, I have never, ever, felt so disrespected in my life. I was so upset, y'all. I was pissed off. And I just simply explained to them the best way I could how I felt. And I left it at that. I left it in that court. All our conversations are taped. They can be taped. But, um, I told them they can go pull tapes of the record of that conversation so that they can hear it. So the next day, I go into the office my manager sent me an email and apologized. And my doctor said, we will not pull a tape. He wanted HR to write a letter up immediately, discharging her from the facilities. And that's exactly what they did. He didn't question me, he didn't ask me, and he apologized and told me how sorry he was that I went through that. Because I was hurt. So to know that <clears throat> people are out here losing their life because you're black, it's just crazy. You know, it's hurtful. And when I see my kids and know that my kids can go out here, you know, my kids are driving now. And I always ask, I asked my son the other day, you know, did he know what to do, you know? And that's just scary. It's so scary that your children have to come up in this world of such hatred, you know? I'm terrified for my grandson to come into this world of such hatred, but it's, it's always been here. 
my grandparents dealt with it. Their grandparents dealt with it. So it's, this is nothing new and it's not going to stop, but we got to do whatever we can. If you have a platform, just put the message out there the best way you can. You don't have to be loud and out here protesting if you can't. Just speak your mind. Just speak up. Vote. Make sure I'm not good at voting. I don't go out and vote like I should, but now I am, you know, and that's the best thing we can do is just stand up the best way we can, y'all. So, needless to say, I'm so excited and happy that my job backed me up. They didn't question me. So, even time, even though sometimes you get sick of going to work and you're going to have racism everywhere. But I'm glad to know that I work for an entity that actually, you know, cares about me and didn't just let me fall through the cracks. So, I, you know, I'm really happy about that and grateful. So when I say God is good, he is. All the time. So, on a lighter note, how was your food, son? His plate. <laughs> Delicious. This food, man, it was so good. You gonna eat some ice cream and cake? We gotta have some ice cream and cake. Yeah, cause you done ate it all. <laughs> That's why he don't want none. Right, let me take this last bite right here for y'all. Oh, stuff too. That's a big old jug. Is that shrimp or lobster? I, I, I had two pieces of shrimp in my mm, mm, mm. So, Mika, you laid this out. Oh, yes, she did. So, yeah. I'm going to clean up a little bit. And I'm just put a little bit together for y'all. Because I'm really full. So... Let me get my ice cream and cake together and I'll be right back in a second. All right. Can you pause it for a minute? I'm just, I'm gonna put something together real quick. All right, y'all, I'm back. I just realized I ain't getting no thumbnail with my other plate. So let me make sure I get a good one here. So what we got here are some Rebels chocolate ice cream, triple um, chocolate ice cream, which is, uh, I'll do the math in a minute. I can't really see. But hopefully y'all can see that. But it's five net carbs. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. I got, can't see the servings, though. So it is keto. You see it? No sugar. Keto. And this is just some strawberries. And my cake kind of crumbled up a little bit. It's like a crumble right now. But I think it's lemon, cream cheese, I think it may be a little coconut in there. I'm not really sure, but we about to eat this because it's sliding off the plate. Let me move this and try to get a decent thumbnail. All right, here we go. It probably ain't that pretty. I'm sorry, it's melting. <laughs> everything I got a little bit of everything on there mm. happy birthday to me happy birthday to me happy birthday dear NASA <laughs> Happy birthday to me. I hope I hear record. Poppy, did you hear record? <laughs> well, I'm in here saying it to myself. <laughs> mm. Mm. I see the chocolate chips in there. Mm. 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 Yeah, she said she's making a chocolate cake this week. 
I'd probably be over there. <laughs> mm. I've been eating y'all, but I'm trying to pull it back in. I went to Wasabi's the other day. Me and my cousins. So you can check that live out. It'll be the one before this. Mm. This cake. Thank you, Tamika. This cake is amazing. And shout out to my goddaughter, Jayla. Thank you, Jayla, for doing my hair. She did a wonderful job. And this is five days old. Y'all see my edges still laying down and everything. <laughs> oh, she got a hair page. So if you're here in Cleveland, I'll put her Instagram here. So go check her out. Tell her happy birthday as well. Her birthday was the same day as mine. June 5th. T Baby made <clears throat> T Baby made me the godmother when she read well, she had said it before. But it made it even more special when she had her on my birthday, so. Yep, so she turned 18. So yeah, I appreciate all the gifts. My sister got my nails done. I got wine, I got liquor, I got a lot of money. I just thank y'all. Thank you to all my YouTube fam that wish me happy birthday. Queen Key sent me a cash app. My girl Storytime with T.Y. Sent me a cash app. I love y'all. And we what? I think about five away from 2K. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a giveaway on Instagram and on YouTube. I didn't do Instagram last time. I only did YouTube, so I might do something bigger on Instagram. I don't know yet. But, yeah. I appreciate y'all. You could be anywhere else, but yeah, here watching me. My growth may be a little slow. Um, YouTube. But let me tell y'all, I don't even mind it. I appreciate y'all. I really do. God moves mountains when he want to. Not when we want to. But I can tell you this. He is good to me. <laughs> and I am happy to be the big 06. So, y'all, this meal was good. I hope y'all enjoyed. Again, thank you, Tamika. Thank you, Shayna. She helped me with the cooking yesterday for the seafood. So, She did the seafood. We cooked that together and Tamika brought me all this deliciousness. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. But anyway, y'all, I'm out of here. I love y'all and until next time, keep it key delicious. Love y'all, peace. <clears throat> Ooh, my teeth cold. Eight. Did you see?